In the aftermath of Hurricane Helene, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp is voicing strong criticism of the Biden-Harris administration, claiming they haven't done enough to support the state's rural communities, hit hardest by the storm. The hurricane devastated much of the southeast last week, killing at least 25 people in Georgia alone. Despite this, Kemp says the federal disaster declaration initially covered just 11 counties, far fewer than the nearly 90 that were affected. In an interview with WRDW, Kemp expressed frustration, saying, A lot of people were outraged, including me. We had to call the White House, speaking to the president's chief of staff and FEMA administrator, to get more areas covered. Thanks to his efforts, the White House soon expanded the declaration, adding 30 more counties, bringing the total to 41, with more expected. The governor warned that recovery will be long and costly, with estimates of $35 billion in damages. He also pointed out that the storm left behind significant flooding, mudslides, and evacuations, affecting not just rural areas, but even metro Atlanta. Meanwhile, President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris are in the southeast today. Biden took an aerial tour of Greenville, South Carolina, and later received an operational briefing in Raleigh, North Carolina. Harris, on her part, arrived in Augusta, Georgia, to assess the catastrophic damage firsthand. With over 200 people confirmed dead across six states, the pressure is mounting on federal authorities to ramp up relief efforts for the region.